in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get dual mono from a stereo channel after you've put it into a sequence but only with the help of Adobe Audition. So I'm going to go to my video bin and choose a piece of video and drop it into my new sequence icon. So let's just take this um, something that's got a bit of noise to it. This looks like it's got a bit of noise so drop that in to my new sequence icon and I can zoom in a bit to have a little bit of a look and open up the audio channel and there it is dual stereo it's got a bit of noise to it I'm not going to play it but you get the idea it's got a bit of volume but as you can see it's a stereo channel and I can't change it after the event as I showed you before you can right click on it and you go to audio channels and you can actually turn off a channel so I could if I like turn off the right channel take it to none and then it would only have one channel here so if you wanted to get rid of a background noise that's one solution but if you want to have both of these separately and you have Adobe Audition this is how you go about doing it you right click on the clip and you go to edit clip in Adobe Audition and that opens up Adobe Audition but just to show you Premiere immediately it's also created a new file and I'm just gonna zoom in so we can see the name of the file a little bit clearer it's got a new file down here which says 3DC audio extracted so what it's done is it's taken the original audio and it's extracted a copy and replaced the original with this extracted file so that when I do my editing in Adobe Audition I'm not actually going to damage the original file so if I need the original file back it's still there with the clip okay now in Adobe Audition which is opened up here you'll see that I've got the stereo clip and you'll see over here it's stereo what I can then do is right click on it and right at the bottom the final option is extract channels to mono files click on that and it looks like only ones there but if you look over here in the project panel you'll see that you've got extracted left and extracted right and if you double click on either of them you'll see they look exactly the same but they could be different in yours but you've got the two channels then you need to save them so file save all and I'm going to stick them actually on my desktop at the moment just so that I know where they are to delete later and click OK and OK because it's asking me about both of them then when I go back to Premiere Pro what I actually need to do is delete this extracted file I don't really want it anymore so I can delete it here from the project panel and it'll say are you sure yes I'm sure I've now got no audio but what I can do now I'm just gonna zoom out slightly is I can double click to import go to my desktop and take those two extracted rights and lefts open them up and then I can pull those files in well I don't want both of them together so take them in one at a time so take in the left to audio 1 take in the right to audio 2 now these are standard audio files so it doesn't matter whether it's a stereo or a mono file but they are now completely independent and if I go to my audio mixer you'll see if I just push if I just pull through you'll see that they are separate files which can be changed and adjusted independently so it's a long job because you've got to go through you've got to right click you've got to send to an audition if you've got lots of clips however let me just go to an edited one here and I select a whole range of clips I can still right click on those and I can still edit clip in Adobe Audition and what it will do is bring in all of them bang 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 and then I can work through them and sort them out from there so you see you can do it in lots of different ways but Adobe Audition is the only way you're going to deal with this problem after the event the best way as I say before is to deal with it before the problem